Wow, incredibly tired. I uh, built uh, four uh, supercells. Um, everybody keeps asking me the same question. How could the supercell um, create over four inches of perceived depth when the liquid layer is less than one micron thin? And the answer to that is as simple as Mother Nature itself. The only thing that defines mass, magnitude, volume, or even holographic depth, or genuine depth, in the entire universe is magnetism and magnetism only. You couple that with the fact that what defines a magnet is field coherency. So not only have magnetism and the neodymium iron boron, but it is all operating in unison. This is incommensurability, point non-specific incommensurability. So everything with this geomagnetic precession is acting in unison. It is moving to its will, of course I'm using the word will loosely, the uh, ferromagnetic fluid suspension in a field of light, which is a coaxial circuit, everything can be bent with magnetism. So we have an extremely thin layer, I don't know if you know what a micron is, a ferrofluid which is floating in an ocean of bright light. And then you take the one thing, and the one goddamn thing only, that defines volume and magnitude in the universe, magnetism, and on top of that, it's a coherent magnetic field operating throughout the uh, magnetic uh, dev device that we call the magnet, because that's the only thing that defines a magnet is field coherency. And this is the reason why you have incredible, unbelievable science fiction level, you know, that can't be real. I mean, people are like, how could that be one micron thin and I'm seeing over four inches of depth? It's because we have the absolute best circumstances possible where we take magnetism and a ferroreactive fluid, no matter how thin it is, bathed in a sea of light, and those two things combined in the coherent magnetic field, you're able to see incredible, unbelievable depth. So it literally is that simple. I hope I didn't make it sound complex, but it's incredibly simple. Thanks for watching. Bye. And I'm absolutely exhausted, by the way. Exhausted.